Brooklyn Independent Television. In case you're just joining me, I'm in the studio with a couple of key players from Long Island's men's basketball team. You know, as they, as you know already, they were in the uh, March Madness for the first time since 1997. So in a way, you guys are also historical, right? Yeah, How do you guys feel about that? feel good. It's been a long time, uh, about 14 years since uh, uh, you went to the tournament last. And um, we were able to be successful and have a great season. It's the first time since I've been here I, as well, so to just have a season like this, coming in, I'm a senior now, and um, four years ago, the team was struggling a little bit, and to um, build the program back is a great feeling. So. When you were recruited by a coach, what did he tell you? Even though the program wasn't, you know, the best at the time, what did he tell you that how you guys could make a difference coming into the program? And it, how did you buy it? it why why about, did you buy it? It was more about um, rebuilding the program um, I wanted to be a part of something special kind of thing. And uh, I know, personally, I bought into it. Um, I wanted to be a part of a team where I can contribute um, in four years of my career and have a lot of chance to play and do something special. So um, when that chance came up, I was, I was excited. I jumped to the opportunity. So. Uh, I feel the same way. Uh, he said that we had a, a chance to make a difference, and this program turned it around. Um, we've seen the vision, the class that we came in with, uh, we all worked hard together at that point, and um, we've seen how it could turn around. Uh, after one season of losing to Rob Wagner first first year, yeah. we've seen like, okay, we need a, a, a few more pieces. And once we all started to come together, we've we seen that we were actually making a difference and turning this program around and to actually be a part of something special is indescribable. Um, all right, the second round, you guys, face North Carolina, right? Yeah. A couple, a few weeks ago. The road trip, going down there, and also the day before as far as the practices, that sort of thing. How did you guys feel about that? And describe how you guys felt that particular day and also pl playing them that particular day also. Um, it was a great, it was a great just experience. The trip was great. Um, it was the, everybody around the community knew who we were around North Carolina, knew that we were going to play North Carolina. Um, and then we, the practices were great. We had great team practices. We were ready. We really felt like we can go in there and steal one, win a game. Game day. <laughs> David? Uh, and game when, you, day. when you saw the Roy Williams, you saw that, that white <laughs> and that blue, those powder blue uniforms coming on the court. You're there in Charlotte. Oh, man. They, uh, I guess you really don't see know, know what seven foot is until you see it and, <laughs> next to it. You stand uh -huh. next to it. But, um, I mean, we still felt like we all had a chance to win. Um, we had some abilities that, they, that, that uh, exploited their weaknesses. And they obviously had some height that made the difference in the game. So and we, we were still excited to play, still ready, and willing to go up against anyone. Because after a while, it just seemed like you guys were just playing. After, you know, as far as after you, know, you guys settled in, and it was a game. Yeah, at the beginning of the game, um, they had a big run to start the game in both halves. I mean, but after at the end of the day, it's just basketball. And once we settled down and um, just got used to it, made the adjustments, and we were able to make a run back ourselves and – Played a good game, so our first uh, our first couple minutes of the game, coach just tells us to get through the first wave. It's uh, it's usually like our it's like our little I don't know maybe it's our own little thing. Coach tells us to just get through the first wave, and then after that it's just basketball. At halftime, how did you guys feel then going into the locker room? What did coach also tell you during that time? We were confident. Um, we made a, a real big run in that first half, right. and we knew if we um, started the game off in the second half the way that we kind of finished off the first half, we'd be all right. We'd give ourselves a chance to win. And that's all you wanted to do, give yourself a chance to win with five minutes to go. And um, we were real confident at halftime, so. Uh, yeah, uh, I was able to hit the shot to go into halftime, which gave us a little momentum and, uh, you know, kind of got the team riled up to come out for the second half. Um, we cut the deficit down, I think, to nine maybe. And uh, so, yeah, we were confident enough to know that we could still come out here hopefully jump on them and then see how they react. And as a team, you got felt that probably could have faced anybody that particular day after a while. Yeah, I mean, um, we used to play on the road, so that didn't really matter to us, you know what I mean? Um, and at that point, we won 27 games, so we didn't really care who we played. We're confident to play anybody. So we felt like we were going to play with North Carolina, play with Duke, we can play with Louisville, anybody. So. All right. Your seniors, what are your plans after this is your last year? This is it, unfortunately. We'd like to see you guys back, but you can't come back, right? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately we can't come back. But um, 
we're looking to continue to play. Um, looking to continue to play, uh, be successful. With. Yeah, main focus is honestly just graduating right now. Focus on school because uh, got to catch up a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, both of us are looking to play. So we're going to work hard in the off season, train hard every day, hit the weight room, and get ready. So. Well, I'd like to wish you all good luck, best of luck, and uh, we'll be watching those Blackbirds next year. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.